This is the room where women in Spokane fight addiction. It's not easy. They rely on each other every day. The opioid epidemic is a growing crisis that continues to claim lives across the country and in the inland northwest. The CDC says more than 100,000 people died last year from overdoses. That's the highest number on record. And as the issue grows, so does help here at home. Esther Bauer shows us how a new program in downtown Spokane is helping women overcome addiction. Here at Women's Hearth, when anyone comes in this room and takes a seat for group, they're met with a community of support at whatever stage they're at. It was the fight of her life. Autumn Rose Maurer was addicted to cocaine. She also struggled with pain medication and alcohol. It creates a vicious cycle, and so stopping that cycle takes a lot of work. Hard work she's been putting in since 2018 with the support of groups like this. During this time, we just want to be open and available. So women can share their struggles and successes of recovery and have a team with them along the journey. You don't have to walk alone. There's somebody to walk beside you, um, and that makes all the difference. It's a difference Georgia Butler wants to make in more people's lives. In Spokane County, 125 people lost their life to a drug overdose last year. Autumn's grateful to still have hers so she can help others. It's, it's a very intense mental battle, um, and I wouldn't be doing it this successfully without the support that I've had. <laughs> Like sharing a laugh and helping each other walk towards recovery, free from judgment to overcome addiction. When you see the person walk in who wants to be in recovery, who doesn't want to use anymore, that's that glimmer of light, that flame that just keeps you going for one more day. And this group is really for any woman in the community who's trying to find freedom from addiction. They'll meet here every week at Women's Hearth Mondays at noon. Reporting in Spokane tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.